handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Chester Racecourse here on Friday. It is the 12th of May 2023. Going to look at the uh, all the races, uh, almost all the races on the program from Chester. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean around the world. Join me tomorrow for my Linkfield Derby trial. It's going to be a good race, so I hope you join me for that. Uh, but we're going to look at almost all the races. We're skipping over two of them, the 5th and 6th race, 345 and the 420. Two very tough races. We'll skip those over. So let's get to the opener, the 130 from Chester, which is the CAA Stellar Earl Grosner handicap. It's class two handicap going for $48,000 purse. Race for four-year-olds and upwards. Horse rated 86 to 105. A baker's dozen. 13 horses are going 1,600 meters or a mile on the turf course. I'm going to take the five horse here, Guardi, or, or Guidor, as a top selection. Going to go 584 in your tri cash trifecta. 584 tri cash trifecta. Top selection of five horse Guidor. Six year old Gelding here. Katie Scott trains. Paul Mulleran gets the mount. The horse's most recent out. It came 29th of April. Haydock. Seven furlongs and a class two handicap on good ground. And the horse finished second by two and a half lengths. The winner had the jump on him, but this horse, he got around the race course well. He needed that extra furlong or so. But I didn't think it was a half bad race. Refreshing here today. I think he could get the trip to win and find the winner circle. Two back on the 8th of April at Musselsboro. Seven prongs and a class 2 handicap. He won by two and a quarter lengths. First off the bench, he basically won a stroll. He quickened up nicely. A lukewarm 7 to 2 favorite. He won quite easily there. And then prior to that, Musselsboro on the 10th of October. Seven prongs and a class 2 handicap. He finished third by length that day, and he just never really showed up. He kind of hit the wall late. It wasn't his day for success there. Uh, and then before that at air, seven prongs and a class 3 handicap. He stepped down in class from the previous race, which he should have did better. He didn't. He finished fifth by four and a half lengths that day, and he just had nothing. He won quite nice in the front in a, a week prior to air during the festival in a class 2 handicap, winning by a neck from a stupidly wide poster. He one on the front end he has some speed if he wants to use it that's always killer on this course seven to one i'm going to use him i think the eight horse red mirage is your second likely winner uh for jason hart most recently they ran the horse of goodwood in the fall and an optional claiming handicap class two event over the mile where he finished fourth by a half a length he just kind of hit the wall late but he ran he got down the race course well prior to that of chelmsford in a class two handicap over the seven he finished fourth by two lengths again he didn't quicken up but didn't weaken out of it either he, he got around the race course well and then late july here at chester a mile in the class three he finished second by one and a quarter lengths again he had a good trip that day uh on the front end he won here at the festival last year in a class two handicap quite nicely it's gonna have to overcome a wide post trip but i think it's some speed to uh do it seven to one a definite place pot horse to recap my selection for the two the 130 the first race from chester let's take the five horse guidor give kudos to the eight horse red mirage five eight four tri cash trifecta five eight in your multi-race the second race at 205 it is the pr it's the precisions uh, facades handicap it's a class two handicap going for forty eight thousand dollar purse race for four year olds and upwards horse rate 86 to 105 10 horses are going 2,000 meters or a mile a quarter on the turf course my top selection i'm going to take the five horse ground breaker five two four for me in your tri cash trifecta five two four tri cash trifecta top selection of five horse ground breaker four year going by Oasis dream andrew balding trains ocean murphy gets the mount the horse's most recent out came 17th of september at newberry a mile and a quarter in a class two handicap and the horse finished fourth by two and three quarter lengths that day he had a very wide post draw he stayed the trip well but you know he was wide that day he has a better poster here today. He could get some good position. And I think last time I was a good, you know, stamina builder. Coming here today with a better poster, I think he could get the trip to win and run a good race. Two back, he ran the 17th of, or 27th of August at Windsor, yielding round of miles rates and listed stakes. And he finished third by six and three quarter lengths that day. And he just never quickened up. He got around the race course well, but he still needed something more there. And then a Hamilton on the 15th of July, mile three, it's an uh, listed stakes. Finished second by seven and a half lengths. The winner was much the best. This horse got around the race course well, but he still needs something. He hasn't won since his maiden victory. That came at Doncaster last March over a mile a quarter in a class five maiden race. Winning by four. He was under the drive, excelling easily. A very, very good run. His form hasn't been half bad. Coming here off the bench, I think he could get the job done. The two horse savvy victory for Ryan Moore. It wouldn't surprise me if he finds the wizard enclosure. Most recently, the first of April, Kemp did a mile a quarter in a listed stakes. He finished fifth by four lengths that day and he just you know got down the race course he didn't run well but he didn't run crap um 
either. He just, you know, ran okay. Uh, you know, prior to that, a new market amount of quarter listed six in the fall. He finished third by 12 lengths. Very demanding ground. The two in front from, you know, were much the best. Ottoman Fleet's actually running here in New York tomorrow in the Man of War. This horse just wasn't catching him there. And then a Heritage Handicap, a new market over the mile in the eighth. He finished fifth by two lengths. And again, he just couldn't keep up. He got beat by slightly better horses. Way down the class ladder. Coming here to Chester. Good inside post. It wouldn't surprise me. Four to one. Let's use him in the place pot. To recap my selection now for the second, the 205 from Chester. Let's take the five horse groundbreaker. Give kudos to the two horse savvy victory. Five two four, tri cash trifecta. Five two in your multi race. The third race, the 240. It is the group two Huxley Stakes. It's a group two event for class one horses going for $144,000 purse. Race for four year olds and upwards. We have six horses going 2,000 meters or about a quarter on the turf course. I'm going to take here the number five horse here, Poker Face. 541 in your tricast trifecta. 541 tricast trifecta. Top selection of five horse poker face. This um, four year old gun by Fasten It Rock. Simon Ned Christopher trains. Jamie Spencer gets the mount. The horse's most recent anti came in the Group 3 Earl Sefton stakes at Newmarket. A mile May 8th on the 18th of April. And he finished second by two lengths. Ottoman Fleet really freaked that day on the front end. This horse stalked. He won some more ground, but he didn't run half bad. Running here today, some forwardly paced, good poster. I think he gets. The, the trip to win. Two back in a class four handicap of Pontefract, a mile and a quarter on the 17th of October. He won by eight and a half lengths. He had a high weight, but he had destroyed the group of horses. So he quickened up nicely. A very, very good run there. And then prior to that, Newcastle, mile and 30th September in a class five novice race, won by one and a half lengths. Again, he had the job done on the front of a very, very good victory. He only lost once, but that was behind Ottoman Philly. He was a decent handicap horse trying the, you know, grade one company here in the States tomorrow. But coming here at nine to two, I think he could get the job done. I think the four horse here, Point Lonsdale for Aiden O'Brien and Ryan Moore, wouldn't surprise me if this horse finds the winner's circle. Most recently in mid-April at the Curra, a mile and a quarter in the alleged stakes, he won by one and a half lengths and as the one to two favorite. He basically just stalked he got the easy lead and he got the job done a good race from there prior to that he ran last year's 2000 guineas in Newmarket, where he finished 10th by 7 lengths there, and he just completely hit the wall. He just never found form there. His tour form wasn't bad at all. He, he placed in the Vincent O'Brien National Stakes behind Native Trail in the fall of 2021, won the Futurity Stakes with the Curra, won the Tyro Stakes, and won the um, the big 7 for all tour race at Royal Alaska in, in the summer of 2021. He has hidden form here. He's come back here going to a mile a quarter. At 8-5, to five, watch out for this horse. This could be a, a good O'Brien horse as the season goes on. One surprise you know if he has a good race here today one surprise me if they try some tougher horses next and uh, you know do they try the eclipse if he does well next you know do they try the um the jedmon international we'll have to wait and see but to recap my selection for the third the 240 from chester it's the group two i uh the group two huxley stakes let's take the five horse poker face give kudos to the four horse point lonsdale five four one tri cash trifecta five four in your multi-race the fourth race at 315 it is the chester cup it's class two heritage handicap going for a hundred eighty thousand dollar purse race for four-year-olds and upwards we have a field of 17 horses staying the trip of ground at 3800 meters or two miles and three eights on the turf course. I'm gonna take here the number ten horse Zafi. I'm gonna go ten six in your forecast exacta. 10-6 forecast exact. Uh, top selection 10 or Zafi. Several going by Zafini. Uh, Hugo Palmer trains. Ben Curtis gets the mount. Horse hasn't been seen since the Cesar, which at Kempton, at uh, Kempton, at Newmarket, a mile, two miles and a quarter on the 8th of October. And he finished fourth by seven and a half lengths that day. He wanted more ground off of that race. You know, he, he should do better with the extra furling that he's getting here today. But he got down the race course well. He needed that extra turn of foot. He didn't get it. I didn't think he ran half bad. Refreshing here, good poster. I could step closer. I think he could stay the trip wi to to win. He he looks like he wants to stay forever. Two back, 17th of August at York. Two miles in a class two heritage handicap. He finished third by four and a half lengths that day. He was just under the drive again. He needed that extra turn of foot. He improved out the race before, but you know he still needed something there. And then late July, Goodwood, two and a half miles in a class two handicap. He finished seventh by seven three quarter lengths that day. Completely hit the wall. It wasn't the day to win. And then the July Cup meeting at Newmarket, mile three quarters in a class two handicap. He finished third by ahead. It was an all-out finish. He just missed, but he ran his heart out. Coming to the longer trip again here at Chester. It wouldn't surprise me if he finds the winner's enclosure. It's 7-1. to one. Let's use him. Second likely leaves winner here, I think, is a six-horse calling the win for Jamie Spencer. Most recently at Wolverhampton, 2016th in the Class 2 Conditions race in March. He finished fourth by three quarters in length, but again, off the bench, he probably needed the race, but he got around the race course while staying the trip. 
And then the Curl last uh, September, two miles in eighth man and a handicap. He finished twelfth by seven three quarter lengths that day. And I thought they were just a little bit behind the A ball in the fall. He just he was never really getting the good staying trip. They ran him the September stapes before that, where he just never really ran uh, a decent third uh, at Sandown, a list six uh, Eclipse weekend last year. But you know, all those races, they they just looked like they were like behind the A ball. He looks like he has a decent form under his belt from last time out. Coming here, he could definitely stay the trip locally at fifteen. One, I'm going to use him on the ticket. He's your wise guy horse in this race. Uh, but to recap my selection for the 315, the fourth race from Chester, it's the Chester Cup. Let's take the 10 horses off. You give kudos to the six horse calling the wind. 10 6 4 caps exact. I'll use them both in the place or quad pod. The fifth race and the sixth race, 345. Five and the 420 respectively we're going to skip over those races the the, the fifth race it wouldn't surprise me if the if the, um, if the ride more horse wins by a mile but if he doesn't win it's going to be some random result here that i can't find so we're going to skip over that race we'll watch that as a fan the 420 it's very tough um uh, apprentice handicap here that you could probably go a million ways and uh, I've always been burned by this race at Chester so we're going to skip over that one so I don't make an idiot of myself I, I do that um, great enough by myself I don't need the apprentice handicap to do that for me so we'll head over to the nightcap the 455 now from Chester it is a Chester plate handicap it's a class 2 handicap going for a $60,000 purse race for 4 year olds and upwards uh, these are for horses that were declared for the Chester Cup but couldn't make it in we have a field of 17 horses going 3,800 meters or 2 miles and three eighths on the turf course. My top selection, I'm going to go take the number 15 horse, the predictor. I'm going to go 15 1 in your forecast exacta. 15 1 forecast exacta. Top selection, the 15 horse, the predictor. Four year old by Divine Prophet. Richard Fahey trains Ocean or gets to mount. The horse's most recent out came 29th of April at Ripon, two miles on a class 3 handicap. Stepping up in class from his previous race in the fall, he put a second by a neck, and he was really gaining ground late. He just missed late. Not a bad race at all. Refreshing to a longer trip here today. Second off, I think he will run a good race. But he's going to have to overcome barrier number 15 of 17, which is very hard to do here. But I think with a longer trip, it shouldn't really matter. Two back at York on the 4th of September. Two miles in a class 4 handicap. He finished second by three lengths. And again... The winner had to jump on this horse, but he got around the race course well. He showed some potential there. And then Thurston, 26th of August, two miles in a Class 5 handicap. He won by a neck. He was all out on the drive, excelling. A very good race there. Uh, and then at uh, Haydock back in the uh, late summer, two miles in a Class 4 handicap. Finished 8th by 12 lengths, and he was on the drive, just not excelling that day. And the ground was very fast. It was good, but it was the faster side of good, which is very unusual. It seems like Haydock. It always seems like it's heavy or soft there, but he, he just wasn't getting a handle of it. Uh, given the ground here he should like he should stay forever just gonna have to overcome that 15 barrier poster but it wouldn't surprise me if he gets the job done it wouldn't surprise me if the one horse uh, novel legend gets the, the, the job done also for daniel muscat uh, and james fanshaw but he's breaking from very number 14 he's the most recent out in came in newberry last month two miles in his uh, 16th in a class um two handicap he won by a half a dozen that day and he was fresh he quickened up nicely a lot of the horses weren't fresh that day but this horse really took off clear and then a kempton in late march two miles in a class four handicap he won by one quarter lengths again staying the trip well he's another horse who could stay forever had a very good win over a mile six here at chester last fall i'm gonna give him a shot to get the job done but he's gonna have to overcome a high weight and a high post draw uh but three cam selection for the nightcap the seventh race 455 from chester it's the chester plate let's take the 15 horse to predictor give kudos to the one horse novel legend 15 one forecast exacta using both exact combination exacta box forecast combinations and in your multi-race so good luck to all remember to join me tomorrow for my link field derby trial and my belmont man war preview good luck everybody and follow me on twitter at horse racing kid 5